Hi there. I'm dashing this off as a quick update, so I'll keep it short and focused. Later videos will expand more on this. Ryan Condal just gave a day after finale interview with Variety, in which he confirmed that, quote, season four will be the last season of House of the Dragon. This is not that much of a surprise to us, and I will direct you, linked below and at the end of the video, to other things I've made speculating on prior comments he's made about how long he thinks the show will run. That From the beginning he said, like, I don't know, two or three seasons, maybe three or four, and we thought that's ridiculously low. You'd need at least five. George R. R. Martin himself has said four seasons, ten episodes each. And if seasons two, three, and four have eight each, that's really going to hurt it. So we thought... You know, like a split season or something, not six, but, you know, five is really what you need to do. So this isn't a surprise because I already came up with the theory, which is pretty popular, and we have to avoid telling ourselves what we want to hear, and people have reminded me you are speculating. I think that Ryan Condal considers the ending to be the point that the princess and the queen ended which isn't the end of the actual war, because then comes this other battle campaign called the Muddy Mess, and then the Hour of the Wolf. And in a shortened eight-episode season, mind you, yeah, that would last the Hour of the Wolf, not people, so that lasts a day. I mean, the lead-up to it with the Lads, the Muddy Mess, Moon of the Three Kings, and the resolution of all this through the Hour of the Wolf, yeah, that's like eight episodes worth, worth of content. That I've said that while that could be considered House of the Dragon Season 5. An option is, because they go for shorter TV shows people can jump into more these days, that they might choose to have make it a direct sequel show. That instead of Season 5 of House of the Dragon that people be hesitant to jump into, they'll make it a direct sequel. It'll be The Aftermath, is what the chapters are called in the book. It'll be The Aftermath Season 1. Others have pointed out there's no guarantee they'll even make a Regency show and that I am just assuming that if it's popular and it's good, I think the numbers are still there. And you're right, it's not a guarantee they'll make it, even though they want to really double down on this as a franchise, and it's an obvious idea. Like when people were complaining about Game of Thrones, why don't we have an Arya sequel? This is a project you could make a sequel for very easily. There's the Regency era with the Aftermath era. So, Condal didn't say anything we didn't already speculate, and he's even made similar comments before, like maybe three or four seasons at most. Now he's very prominently said four. And I've been accused of being delusional or playing to my hopes. I'm just saying, plans change. We'll see what the backlash to season two being so truncated does. Not that there'll be six seasons, but um, also in this, he said, I haven't talked with HBO about it yet, but I assume at the pace we're going, season three will also have eight episodes instead of ten, when we're all begging for them to now have ten. <laughs> so, uh, look, either you need ten, epi ten episode seasons or more seasons of fewer episodes. You can't do this in three more seasons of eight episodes. Two more seasons of eight episodes, season three, then season four, to get to the end point of The Princess and the Queen... You really can't do that in 16 more episodes, considering how many other storylines they pushed into next season. Dayron, it definitely. Uh, Craig and Stark and Jane Aaron, to an extent, they wouldn't need like a whole subplot, but like they're, as much as Oscar Tully was in this season, they would need their own development. And certain other things that are going on that just, how would you do this? And they've also said we really can only afford to do two big action sequences in a single season. My guess is that Season 3 might have... It'll start with the Battle of the Gullet, we know that. And I would assume through the fish feed, the biggest land battle of the war. It's possible they choose to leave that off-screen. Princess and the Queen largely did. We don't know. They might play around with what exactly is the end point of Season 3, but it, I'm not the only one talking about this. This is a big question that's come up. Of if blatantly, after that finale... This was episode 8 of a 10-episode season, and they did, they did the right thing. Rather than truncate the story, they said, we'll just push it to the beginning of season 3. Well, doesn't that then push the end of the original season 3 back into season 4? Don't you need more seasons, not less? Maybe this is Ryan Condal 
uh, engaging in politics, that he wants to rile up the media about you can't do this in only four seasons of, of eight episodes, in the two more batches of eight episodes isn't enough, to give himself, you know, negotiating leverage with HBO. To, I'm not saying seven seasons, I'm just saying maybe you should split season four into two batches or something, or at least ten episode seasons for three and four to pick up the slack. Or, that's what I think might be... So, just saying nothing is set in stone. So this isn't a huge shock. We knew this wouldn't go on forever. And there is the question of will we even get a Regency show. It depends on how popular it is. A Regency show would have a smaller budget. It's not as many battles. It's court intrigue. They'd be using pre-existing sets. Uh, it's more of a character drama. It's pretty much like what Episodes 5 and 6 were, but with better pacing, obviously, and characters we like. I never thought Regency show would be the new flagship. I think the flagship show would shift to being Targaryen Conquest, but they keep covering the Regency because there are written chapters on it. I mean, outline chapters from Fire and Blood. You could get three to four seasons out of that of eight episodes just by going through as a supplement show. And this is what happened after that. A bunch of people were clamoring for an Arya sequel. So... Regency thing is no guarantee, but then again, he's doing what Benioff and Weiss didn't, which is hand off the reins to someone else. I can't, he said, I can't stay in the UK this long with my family, that we want to go back home. I understand that, and he's doing the right thing. If I'm, if I'm not going to stay and give it my all, I'm going to finish and leave. And the, the Regency show will probably, it'll be season one of the Regency show is Hour of the Wolf. Well, I want to keep this update short, so two other points I want to expand into other videos. First, uh, three days ago, George R. R. Martin did this Oxford Writers Panel, where he gave an update on the number of live-action projects, which we thought was two other things in development, Targaryen Conquest and Nymeria. Now he said three. We were wondering what this mystery project is, you know, is it Blackfire, is it Valyria? That would line up with that they're treating a Regency show as a direct sequel, that a new showrunner would need to pitch their version of an Aftermath show. More on that later. And the final point is, well, Condal said two things in this Variety interview. The first was season count, episode count. Second, he did confirm that filming on season three, however long it is, will not begin until next spring spring of 2025, and past couple of weeks, some of the actors had made statements indicating that they'd start filming as early as this fall, so I've been hyped up that we're not going to have a long news gap, that we're going to get filming reports as early as a month from now, maybe two months. That is not happening. Filming doesn't begin until spring. And this was the right thing to do. The criticism of season two was that this really needed more time in the oven. It needed time for more writing and rewrites. So, given a choice, I would have told them, film later, film in spring, take more time to write it. But that does leave us with the question of what are we going to be doing between now and next spring. In terms of long-term projects, a lot of this is catch-up on all the info that just came out. Because when there's filming reports, it's hard to juggle that with going over all the interviews and everything. So please like and subscribe and stick around for the other videos.